How are you going on lads? Big Potato here. Welcome to the fitness video. I know I promised to have you have this for you on Monday, but uh, unfortunately I didn't install the, well this me didn't install it, but future me currently has it installed and is working on this video. So hopefully this all runs smoothly and you're watching this video right now, which means future me did the job. So good job, future me. Welcome to my fitness video. Well, this is all to do with the workouts that I do. Now, uh, I might look like much. That's because I'm only just getting back into it. Um, here are actually some progress pics um, from one of the workout journeys that I've had. Because I've had a few. Like the chest is out a bit and the abdominal area looks a bit better than that. Before you go into working out, I want to point out that... It's important to have water with you. I see a lot of people with uh, protein drinks and energy drinks. Energy drinks, I don't think so. Uh, that's just, I don't agree with uh, having energy drinks. You'll see them in vending machines. And uh, yeah, they give you energy, but I think everyone knows that they're not the most healthy for you. And everyone who buys energy drinks knows they're not healthy for you anyways. But just personally, I always go for water. Whatever you like to drink, protein is fine as well. Just, I prefer my water because you're supposed to get two liters of water into you anyways so if you are gasping for a drink after a workout or you're sweating and you're dehydrated having water with you is a good way of, of kind of killing two birds with one stone in a way uh so don't push yourself too hard it's good to feel the bit of pain when you're working out don't be afraid to push yourself just don't push yourself too hard to the point where you're close to risking permanent damage or maybe hurting your back or your chest or your arms really badly. I have a friend who was actually in the British Army and he was training for it. And how he would train when he was running is he'd put on a uh, he put on his backpack and he made it too heavy and he messed up his back. He told he told me himself that he messed up his back and uh, he got through the training. But ever since then, his back still goes at him the odd time because of it. So it just goes to show that it's imperative that. You shouldn't be afraid to push yourself, just don't go killing yourself when you're working out. We're going to get straight into this. Um, I'm going to get, start off with my upper body workouts. I'm going to start off with my pull-ups. First, I always start off with this one, the hands like this. I do, like personally, I'll do, on a good day, I'll do uh, 15, 20, 25 reps. Um, but do not, do not, if you are finding it hard to do, let's say three, uh, maybe try pushing for five pull-ups and maybe take a 20 second break and uh if you're if you're having trouble take doing five pull-ups but you can only just manage go for 10 and so on and so forth um so first one is that one you want to bring yourself up and bring yourself down but you don't you don't have to go dead hang just about this low and then back up again the next one is you're having your hands like this these two bars here and once again up and there um personally the, those are those ones are harder for me they, they tend to be harder for a good few people uh personally i do about 10 to 15 reps of that but as i said work to your strengths but don't be afraid to push yourself um uh, so that is that and the third one is this one the one we all know and love well some of us love just seeing it, some of us love doing it, but the normal push up that we all kind of that we're all kind of aware of, and then the last one I do when I'm doing my pull ups is I'll do this again, but I'll bring the legs out and I'll leave the legs out like that when I'm doing push ups it actually when you bring them up high enough, you can feel it in your core pull ups are really good for both your back and your arms. It's really good for your upper body so uh, that's the first thing I do so I don't do the pull up do the one set and then rest straight away I try to do it in rounds and as soon as I finish the round I'll take a sip of water don't don't gulp it down sip it you don't want to get a, a stitch or anything you don't want to be too tired just take sips small sips so just and then straight back into it into the next workout which I'll be getting into next which is the push-ups Okay, so we've done our pull-ups, we know what to do with that. Don't forget to take your time and work to your strengths, but don't be afraid of a little pain or a burn, that's how you know it works. So, we're going to move straight into the push-ups right now. There are loads of different types of variations of the push-up. They all work with different parts of your chest, different parts of your arms, really good for your chest and arms. Very good for upper body push-ups. You've heard of push-ups, you might have seen them a lot around the place. 
there are loads of different types that you can do. So the first thing we're going to start off with is you don't want them, you don't want your hands too low, too high, too wide, just nice and even. They should be in line with shoulders. Hold it up. If you find it difficult to hold yourself up like this, you can go onto your knees and just have your your shin to your feet up like that. And you stay on your knees and you can do normal push-ups like that. But back onto the feet. You want to go nice and low. Don't go halfway. You want to go all the way down. And when you're going all the way down, you want to be looking up at all times. Nice and low. Go back up again. Nice and low. Back up again. I will do... 15 to 20 of those myself, but don't forget to work to your strengths. If you can only do 5, go for 10. If you can only do 10, go for 15 or 20. It's all about going further than you can normally go. The next we're going to move on to is the wide arm push-ups. You don't have to have too wide. Just nice and even. Back into your normal stance, on your hands or on your knees again. Nice and low. Looking up at all times, and back up again. Again, I'll do 15 to 20 reps of these. And as soon as you finish, how many, ever rep, how many reps you normally do with these? You want to stay in this position, but you want to bring your hands down a bit. Down so that your hands are in line with your stomach. Bring your body forward, and you want to hold that for about 30 seconds. Keep your body nice and straight, you don't want to be too far down, you want to be, don't want your hips to be too high, just nice and straight. And you want to hold that for 30 seconds. Once you have that done, take yourself a 20 second break. Last three of the upper body workout. The next video is going to be all about abdominal and core stuff. So, we're going to do diamond push-ups. If you haven't heard of a diamond push-up, your hands are nice and close like this. Right there on the floor. Again, on your feet or on your knees, nice and low with the head up and back up again. Nice and low, the head up and back up again. And once I have that done, I'll do five to ten reps of those. And once I have that done, we'll do what I call diagonal push ups. So you're going to put one hand up here and one hand down by your hip. And you want to look back and you go down and up. And once you have, I do five, five to ten reps of those. Once you have that down, same with the other side. Five, ten, however many you need to do. Once we've that done, we're going to move straight on to negative push ups. So, back into your, the first one I showed you for the normal push up, only this time you're going to go down. And as you're going down, you're going to count to five. So, one, two, three, four, Five and push up. One, two, three, four, five and push up. And I'll do five to ten of those. And once that's done, I take 20 to 30 second break, maybe a small bit longer if you need. Take your sips of water and then straight back to the bar. So that's the upper body workout. I hope you enjoyed it. Put your head on my shoulder.